Welcome back to part two of the forks and threads question. So let's uh, cover the answers to the first uh, the first part. Uh, so over here, what's going to happen is we're going to start uh, the first task, and because uh, we have a join any join none, I'm sorry, um, the task A is going to run forever. And then we hit the second fork, which uh, starts uh, tasks B and C, and task B finishes first after five microseconds uh, so join any is going to be done after five microseconds and that's when we hit the display, display statements we basically hit the display statements after five microseconds after task B completes uh, and then when we hit the, when we hit the disabled fork this disabled fork will disable all the forks in the current um, scope basically so these two forks are on the same level so it's actually going to disable both of those so it's going to kill uh, the running task C and the running task A. Uh, so, so to demonstrate this, um, all we have to do is basically uh, run the code. So let's run it, and as you can see, uh, task A started running and displaying its statements. And basically, after task B finished, uh, we hit the disable fork, and we did not see any more statements afterwards. So now let's move on to the next part of the question. So the next next task is basically how do we prevent uh, the task A from getting killed in this scenario? As you can see from the output, uh, we ran this code and uh, everything got killed, A and C. So how do we prevent A from being, ki being killed? Uh, it's still okay to kill C, uh, but uh, what about, uh, but we want A to keep running. So to demonstrate what the output should look like, uh, let me go ahead and uh, run the correct code. Of course, I'm, I'm not going to show you the code. The code is hidden because I'd like you to solve this. Uh, so if we run the solution, uh, we basically uh, have the same scenarios up here. We hit the disable fork, but then uh, task A keeps running, and it keeps running until it finishes in uh, 50 microseconds. Uh, so go ahead and try to solve this and uh, feel free to post any comments or uh, questions um, in the comments below.